So somebody that didn't take this into account uh, was one of my regular clients. Uh, I'm not going to say his name, but it's not that bad. It's just an example. He had a very dry scalp, and he got the groomsman special. And if you've had the special before, you know that I, use, I do a scalp massage. And I kind of will squeeze your scalp like that. Well, anyway, when I leaned back and I squeezed him, it was hundreds of droplets of blood coming out of the top of his scalp. Hello, this is Austin from Austin's Groomsman back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about something that a lot of people should do, but unfortunately a lot of us don't, and mainly as men. I believe women are pretty good at keeping up with this, but men don't seem to do it at all, and it's conditioning your scalp. Conditioning your scalp is essential to maintaining a healthy scalp, because remember, a scalp is all skin. So if you don't ever put lotion on your skin, it's going to get extremely dry and you'll start bleeding and cracking and you won't look very good. And you, Just because you can't see your scalp, just because the hair's on top, your hair will start to reflect with your scalp healthier. So if your scalp, so actually whenever you have healthy hair, it's because you have a healthy scalp. It's like having healthy soil for healthy plants. If the soil's dry, the plants get dry. So somebody that didn't take this into account uh, was one of my regular clients. Uh, I'm not going to say his name, but it's not that bad, it's just an example. He had a very dry scalp and he got the groomsman special. And if you've had the special before, you know that I, use, I do a scalp massage. And I kind of will squeeze your scalp like that. Well, anyway, when I leaned him back and I squeezed him, it was hundreds of droplets of blood coming out of the top of his scalp. And he said it was painful. Why is that? That's because the scalp was extremely dry. If it's extreme, if it's severely dry, you will start to bleed and get scabs, and that's something you never want. So today I'm going to tell you how to avoid that, and what you, what kind of conditioner you should use to avoid being a bloodhead. Okay, so before I tell you what conditioner to use, I'm going to tell you how to use it. I know that sounds backwards. So you want to put the conditioner in your head, let it sit. If you have severely dry scalp, you want to let it sit for five minutes, but otherwise just put it in there. Brush it in there with a brush or a comb. I recommend a brush if you have a hair my length. And what a brush does is the bristles massage your scalp. And when they massage your scalp, they like, okay, they run across your scalp, they massage it. And when they massage it, it promotes better blood flow. Better blood flow means better nutrient distribution. So if <laughs> distribution. So if you have better blood flow and nutrients are getting around through your blood more, better or more efficiently, then your scalp and your hair will look more healthier. As you brush your hair, you'll feel, <laughs> as you brush your hair, you'll feel a pulsation after you brush it for maybe five to 10 minutes straight. Uh, the more firm the brush, the more you'll feel this. You'll feel a pulsation and raise energy levels. That's because more blood is flowing to your head. So you'll feel like you have a heartbeat in your scalp. That's how it literally should feel. And that's how you know you're doing the right thing. This does not mean brush with a hard brush upon where you scratch your scalp, that is possible. So use a medium to a soft bristle brush to do this. What does conditioner do whenever you use it properly? It gives your hair a healthier luster, meaning that it will have a natural gloss as if you already put product in it, but you have it. That natural gloss comes from all natural shampoos and being shampooed consistently, you have to, like I do mine Mondays and, Wednesdays, and uh, Thursdays. That means you have to stick to that schedule for that natural gloss to happen. Anything in your body gets better through routine. So if you brush your teeth once a week and then next week you don't brush them at all when you should be brushing them twice a day, uh, then your gums aren't going to reflect a consistent, you know, that, that's what everything in your body, your body shows consistency. So by using good conditioner, it will improve your keratin levels to give you this natural glow. So what is it like to have a conditioned scalp that's nice and healthy? Well, for one thing, I can tell you it doesn't itch like hell. You have a more comfortable scalp, it'll be more comfortable walking around because you're not scratching like you got lice in your head. So if you have a excessively dry scalp, what should you do? Because conditioner alone may not be enough. You should use a deep conditioner. Deep conditioner is a conditioner that replaces the moisture in your hair, reduces breakage, and gives your hair back its elasticity. I recommend using conditioners once every one to two weeks. So either twice out of the month or every week, once every week for a month. 
That's how you keep your, con that's how, that's how you, it's like a, uh, it's like an oil change, going to get an oil change versus topping it off with oil from the uh, gas station. So what conditioner should you use? You should use leave-in conditioner. Conditioner, logically to me, conditioner that you put in your head and then you let it sit and then you rinse it right back out kind of serves no purpose to me because you rinse it right back out. It's just like wanting to gain weight, but you want to eat all this food and then drink two energy drinks that make your metabolism speed up to the point where it just runs right out of you and you go to the bathroom and all that food goes away. So why would you rinse conditioner right out? That's why they have leave-in conditioner. So it stays in and it actually sits into So when your head gets dry, the conditioner is still sitting in your head. You want an all natural conditioner though, because you don't want it to clog your pores. So what conditioner should you use? Unfortunately, I don't have an Austin's Groomsman conditioner right now, but I do recommend. So this is Miel Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. You can either get this pink purplish bottle or you can get the blue and white bottle. I like the blue and white one better, but this is the one I have right now. It cost me $15 to get it at the beauty supply. You can find this just about anywhere. It contains babasu oil, water, sugar maple, sugar cane, balsam copadia, lemon oil, citrus lemon oil, and just mint and apple oil with apple, which uh, fruit extract, which I didn't know they put those in there. And just many other things that benefit and have a great smell to your head. So I definitely recommend this brand. I am not sponsored with this brand. It's just what I personally use. So what you should take from this video is to condition your scalp. It's a must. It's just like putting lotion on your body. Some of y'all don't do that though. So put a lotion on your body and condition your scalp. That's how you keep your hair with a natural gloss and you stop hundreds of droplets of blood from, I mean, of blood coming out your head whenever you squeeze it. You, that means your hair is way too damn dry. If you found this useful, if you found somebody that has droplets of blood coming out of their head whenever you squeeze it, send this to them. Inspired you to condition your head. I'm glad you did it. This has been Austin from Austin Groomsman. Thanks for watching.